Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a PCIe Wi-Fi card on a computer. So for that end, I'm going to use this Dell Optiplex 3040. You can see the model over here. Can be in HP, can be any other brand, can be any other model. Cannot be a laptop for sure. This one has an Intel processor. You, it's going to work the same on AMD. So until today, I'm using this uh, USB 3 Wi-Fi antenna. It works well, 20, 25, 27 megabit per second, but I want something better. I want something that provides more internet speed. For that, I got this brand FebSmart over here. So you can read there, FebSmart PCIe Express Serial. So it's compatible from uh, starting with Windows XP up to Windows 11. It's easy to install and we're going to see how it looks. So now I'm going to open uh, the box really quickly. Now I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to get rid of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. Next, let's remove it from the from the back. And this is how it looks. So some characteristics is the model is FS and 600 HP. The band on which it works is 2.5 or 5 gigahertz, so dual band. The max speed is 300 megabits per second and the power that it uses is around 3 watts. So my internet speed right now at home is 100 megabit. So this one is a little above because I'm thinking to upgrade it in the future. However, if you need more, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for this model and others if you need them. So this is how it looks. It's very light. And now let's see what else comes in the back. So as you can see, this is using a high profile bracket. It's kind of big for the model I have for my for my computer where I'm going to install it. That's why it comes also in the back with a low profile bracket that we're going to replace in a few more seconds. Now these are the antennas, of course. It comes too. Also, it comes with a CD if you need it with the drivers. You can download it as well from their website for sure, but it comes anyway, okay? So the other thing that it comes with is with the manual. It has a lot of information, of course. So let's go to the important part, in my opinion. So this is compatible with Linux, obviously. For Windows 8, 8.1, 10, and 11, 11, I'm not really sure, the driver is not needed. Now, if you have Windows XP, Windows Server, Windows 7, and you install this a PCIe card, you need the driver. Also, this uh, PCIe card comes with the Qualcomm Atheros chip technology. So when we are in the operating system, we have to look the network adapter with that name. Okay, so these are the important parts, in my opinion, from the, from the manual. Now let's change the bracket. As mentioned before, this one has the high profile bracket using my Philips loyal screwdriver. This one is a small one. We're going to remove the two screws. As you can see, it has two. So really quickly, we proceed to remove them. After that, we're going to grab the low profile bracket. And after a few seconds on deciding, hey, how, how do I install this? I found, out, I found out. So you have to make the two connectors for the antennas to go through the holes. Now, we're going to put back the two screws like that. Very simple, very easy. Once we have finished with that, we have to continue on the computer itself. On this computer, we have to loosen up a few screws. I'm showing you one over there, and you have to pull it back like that. So this is the computer. This is how it looks from, from the inside. And I have done two videos in the past on which I add more USB ports and more SATA ports on this computer or a similar one. So if you're interested in those videos, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Now, why I have chosen this um, computer? I, I did that because, as you can see, it's not. It doesn't. I don't have uh, too much space. So if you have a bigger computer, it's going to be way easier for you. Now we have to look for the PCI Express slot. That one over there, as you can see, is the smallest one. The other one we have, the blue one, is for a video card. So you might have more, you might have less, but at least you need one. So that's the SSD. That's the fan for the processor. So that's how it looks. Now, um, we're going to bring the, the card over here. And as you can see, the, 
uh, the pins over here, the port, uh, the connector, I mean, it, ha it has to fit in the slot, in the PCI Express slot. So on this model, we have this lock. We're going to put it over here for a few seconds and we can remove one of these. I don't know what they are called, <laughs> but we can remove it very easily. And now we have to make it match. It's really simple to install, to be honest. I'm going to do a zoom over here. And now this uh, lower part of the card uh, of the bracket is going to fit here between the case and the motherboard. There is a little space there. And now you have to do very gently here. You don't have to push it very hard. For example, here I have it like that and I'm going to push it like that. It's that simple. Just make sure that if it's not fitting, may, uh, if you're pushing down and it doesn't fit, make sure that it's in the right slot. So I'm making sure everything is uh, connected. I'm going to close it like that. Now let's turn it around and this is the card. Now we are going to install the antennas. As you can see, it's really simple. You do it like this. And if it's a little loose, I mean the antennas, you have to turn it around to see and make sure that they are, I mean, they are not going to fall. That's what I'm trying to say. Once you have that completed, that's pretty much it, to be honest. On this case, we are going to go back to the original position and put back the cover for this computer. Once we have done that, we're going to remove everything really quickly. And now we have to connect everything back. So allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. And now we're going to install the mouse, the keyboard, I'm installing here the power and the monitor. Okay. So after we have done that, we have everything that we need. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. I'm going to turn on the, the monitor. You can see over there the computer is on so we can see the Dell logo and this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet that really really helps my channel a lot so thank you thank you very much after a few seconds we're going to see the login screen once you are inside windows we have to go to the search bar over here and type device manager to look for the device itself so allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera we click on device manager and here we have to look for network adapters so it's a little it's there you have to look look for it and you can see the qualcomm atheros wireless network adapter is over there so we haven't installed the driver because this is windows 10 and it just have it so let's go in let's go and test it so we go to network i'm going to choose a wireless network to, to connect to once you are connected well it's working we can go to any web browser and type well, it's working. You can see it. I typed YouTube.com, but it didn't. I didn't have it saved. And this is what is trending now in YouTube. Uh, that they are making this video. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. So you're going to see this is the the computer. And as always, the link is going to be in the video description below. This is how it looks. This is the card we have installed a few seconds ago. Now let's go back over here. If you need it, if you really need the, the driver because you have Windows Server, Windows XP or Windows 7, you have to go to febsmart.com. You scroll down, drivers over here. It's going to give you the drivers for all the uh, products they have. So this is similar to what I have. I'm going to control F for searching the, in the web browser, in, well, in the website and FS and 600 HP. So this is the one we have installed right now. So these are the drivers. You can click I'm in mean Windows, of course, and you click it to download. It's around 50 megabytes, if I remember correctly. But that's how you download it if you really need it. Now, let's do an uh, internet speed test. Um, so I go to this website and run the speed test. So like I said, I have 100 megabits uh, at home. So this one is getting me around 88, 87, which is an increase. The one I'm I, I was using until today, it was my um, USB 3 antenna, Wi-Fi antenna. So that, that one is giving me 25, 27, which is not bad, but this is way better. That's what I'm trying to say. So for me, it's an, it's an increase, it's an update. Okay, so that's how you replace, well, no, not replace, that's how you install a PCI Express network card on your computer. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.